that's Mars. And the a Methodist bishop whose church receives millions of dollars in federal grants every year to house unaccompanied alien children, which shouldn't be happening to start with, asserted in the House clear hearing on Tuesday that the U.S. has raped immigrants' home countries. That is bull shit. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. Okay, uh, madam, you are a liar. What is your church doing to discourage people from coming to the United States illegally and staying in the United States illegally? Virginia Representative Bob Gallat asked Bishop Minerva Carcano during a meeting of the House Judiciary Committee's Subcommittee on Immigration and Border Security. Do they really need all these uh, committees? Get the border sealed. This is why so many of us are voting for Trump. Carcano heads the California Pacific Conference of the United Methodist Church, which supports comprehensive immigration reform, which means open borders and globalism, new world order, and all that. Once you hear, Im all you need to hear is comprehensive immigration reform, and you know that they are open borders, globalists part of the new world order so I think we can say that the United Methodist Church is a part of the globalist new world order agenda then you wonder why I'm an agnostic so many of us are turning away from religion we see what's happening and we're going hey screw this we don't want any part of this these are not the Methodists that we used to have by the way Carcano heads the uh, California Pacific Conference of the United Methodist Church, which supports comprehensive immigration reform. The church's board of child care has received at least $7.6 million in federal grants in the last three years to provide shelter services for unaccompanied alien children who are apprehended crossing into the U.S. border. U.S. illegally. So when are they going back? We're working to welcome everyone. Carcano told Gawat in response to his question about welcoming illegal aliens. Yeah, you are. You're, uh, you want the borders open and screw what anybody else thinks. This is very concerning to me. The Republican replied, adding that the United Methodist Church was essentially aiding and abetting illegal aliens. Thank you, Congressman. Thank you very much for saying that. I appreciate that. We do not ask people their immigration status when they are hungry, said Carcano. Yeah, I'm sure you don't. It's, uh, come here and get on the welfare. That's when the bishop, first Hispanic woman, elected the to her position at UMC, launched into an attack on U.S. foreign policy, blaming it for a situation that has forced Central Americans to flee their homes. Immigrants want to stay home, she said. They're not able to stay home because we've undermined their economies. We have raped their lands. That is incredible bullshit. Well, this is a seditious piece of Shit. I would restate most immigrants want to stay home. That is BS. They can't feed their families, she continued. Yeah, they can't feed their families because of their corrupt governments down there. Same types of corrupt governments that we're getting here. And the U.S.'s involvement in Central America has harmed their economies in disastrous ways. We've been involved in their politics in ways that have undermined their countries and left their societies in shambles. No, they have a bunch of dictators down there, and they don't know how to govern themselves. You are a liar.
Liar, liar, pants on fire. Spread freedom down there, and this problem will go away by and large. It goes on, organizations like UMC are contracted to provide shelter and care where while the miners are awaiting that transfer. Uh, they're referring to getting, a, getting them a home here in the United States. Obama administration has argued that Central American immigrants are fleeing violence in their home countries. But many Republicans have insisted the Obama administration's relaxed immigration policies have led illegal aliens to come to the U.S. based on the belief that they would be allowed to stay. Well, I'm going to restate my position. This is one reason that I'm an agnostic. I see these churches uh, turning, in religious terms, uh, the United Methodist Church would be considered apostate if I went by the book. I'm not religious, but when I see this type of thing happening where they're openly flaunting the laws of this country and they get away with it, uh, then I can't have anything to do with the religion. I'm sorry. Uh, these are not Jesus Christ. If they're worshiping if these are uh, friends of Jesus Christ, then uh, it doesn't matter. I can't have anything to do with it. And I'm thinking pretty much all these churches are pretty much in on take. That's what I mean. Is they're in on take as far as money goes. Saying, uh, give us more money, give us more money. This is disgusting. In the meantime, this country is going to suffer. Well, it is suffering because of the illegal immigrant crime waves and everything else that are happening here. I don't like it. These countries are so poor and have all these problems, but most of it just has to do with the dictators and thugs that they have running it. You get a free society down there with market economies and free and fair elections, you'll see most of that go away anyway. There'll be beacons rather than play, uh, sewer pits to run away from. It's very simple. <coughs> You reorient towards freedom, wealth creation, and a representative form of government, and you'll see a tremendous transformation in all these countries. It's been proven. There's nothing to argue about. Not liberals will argue about anything. That's the way it goes. Well, that's it for this time. Thanks for watching. This is Artifacts of Mars. Have a nice day.